Alright, are we ready for this? I'm not. I have no idea what I'm doing. How about... We start with this. I bought a couple of these before. They are five bucks each and filled with random parts. So I got eight of them today. what's inside these paper bags always contain different parts here let's see if I did well or not this one contains gloves so I think I'll start with this one first they cost five bucks each five euros bit small. So that's a good start, a painting roll. And that's a really good start. A Viha Pico Finish screwdriver. Those are really expensive basically the best one there is. Um, you mean what are they called on the Conrad website? I don't think they sell these on the website. Uh, I got these locally in a, in a store. I actually physically went there myself like in real life and stuff. So I don't know what this is. Looks like some some sort of party illumination. It says it needs 12 volts DC. And it seems to be... Hmm. Should we... Oh no, it has more. Oh, it might be a camera. Yeah, it's probably a CC. Or is it? Yeah, it's probably a camera. We might hook that up later because I have a converter for CCTV cameras to VGA or something. Do later. So we've got a battery powered fish that can actually swim, I think. I think it like wiggles its tail or something. But I don't know how to turn it on, honestly. doesn't have its fin. Uh, Conrad Hanover. Hanover. Cut off discs for some sort of tool. Computer mouse. This one will probably never be used ever again. I haven't seen one of these in years now. Solderable USB ports, USB cable, the tiniest project enclosure ever. A 
and for some reason they have scored an X on the on the project enclosure. It's probably invisible in the camera here. But they do that with all things that are that are like broken, like this mouse for example. It has a it has a big X scored in the in the plastic here. And they did that for this enclosure too. And <laughs> I have no idea why they would do that because that is not really broken. But who knows? Yeah, uh, this is not even the, the best the best bag. The value is going to be even better later. Cable, very nice round connector. Electrolytic caps. Hearing protection. That's like a so there is a hearing protection for concerts. They have a little hole in the middle, so they don't influence the sound quality. They just make the sound quieter all around. These ones seem to be... Yeah, they are probably just for machine work and stuff. Remote control to vehicle. But I don't see... The remote. Some sort of weird connector. No idea. Batteries. LEDs with driver circuitry. And another fish. Oh, and a very nice vandalism safe push button panel mounted. And a pretty sweet electrolytic capacitor by Wirt Electronic. But it's it's got a it's got a an X again, so for some reason they thought this would be I mean we can check this now. Let's see. No, I think that's perfectly fine. ESR 0 0.7, 0 0.17 ohms and 400 something microfarads. That thing is perfectly okay. And like Wirt Electronic is a very good brand. I've never seen an electrolytic cap from them, but seems good. First bag done. I'm really happy about this screwdriver, that's a really good one. Power up the LED things, like uh, this one, I don't know, what What do they need? Is that like for 230 volts? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe later. I don't want to risk a power outage now. That would like destroy everything here. So another bag, another five euros. I think the first one was, yeah, okay, okay value. So that's a big collection of relays. 10 amp, 277 VAC. Relays, single pole, single throw, I think. Very nice. 
and another project enclosure with another X on it, of course. I mean, impossible to sell, right? Perfectly fine project enclosure needs, needs an X on it. Sure. Velcro, sticky things, probably for cable management. Big connector. I don't think this is like the same pin number of GPIB. No, probably not. It's too long for that, isn't it? Screen polishing compound. Axial neon lamps. Tape. Tape. PVC tape from Hellermann. I don't know if that is a good brand for PVC tape. If this was like 3M or something, I would be really happy with this. But yeah. Yeah, it feels all right. All right. And more tape. Oh, by the way, I've been I've been lusting after this one for hours. Cheers. small parts in here. Should I just dump them on the table and sort them later probably? Or maybe wait a second? <coughs> so I've got some empty vessels for the really small parts so that I don't have so much work later. something special. I've never seen something like that before. That's, that deserves a close-up, I think. What is this? I'm sure Tech Constantine will know that. It's magnetic too. It has these big magnets. No idea. You can pick up some parts with that. Uh oh, we've got a poor connection here. What does that mean? Maybe sometimes. No, it just doesn't focus. <laughs> Hello, focus, maybe. You can't be serious, man. Um, a part number is. KMI 15, 15 slash 1. 
and it seems to be a two-pin device that is connected with four pins to another device that is connected to a magnet. Weird, weird stuff. I might Google that later. Ah, a rotational speed sensor. Cool. Big transistors, always very good. Very old LED style here. Uh, now I've got the focusing issue again. I think these close ups have to wait until later. Or can I can I just tap the screen maybe without a glove? Oops. So if I No then it just shows the chat. Well, close-ups come later then. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. DVI connector in case you ever need to make your own DVI cable. Who knows? And a whole lot of resistors. And they are going everywhere right now. Uh, I think that's about it for this one. Was that worth five bucks? Yeah, I think so. The relays were very nice. Project enclosure and the round connector. Pretty good. But I have no idea where to put all this stuff now. I guess I could just swipe it down on the floor. strategy is not sustainable. I suspect that we'll end up with a huge pile of stuff in just about a second. Yeah? <coughs> Another remote controlled car. Probably no remote again. Remote controlled battery powered doorbell. That might be that might be a thermostat thingy, maybe. Oops. I need my chat, come on. Hey. It has a power button. And it needs an external sensor, apparently. Yeah, it's a thermostat. It says on the label it's a thermostat. Ah, no tape. Wireless mount. Some sort of, I don't know, I've 
seen this one before, but I can't quite remember what this is. More resistors. Uh, carbon film resistors. I've had one of these before, that's like a, a party lamp, but this one feels a bit, a bit stiff. Usually they are lit from within in different colors and then this, this thingy will rotate. But this one, I don't know, we can try it right now. I hope it won't blow up now. If it does, uh, be right back. No, no, not really. Let's bring back the light instead. open and it's filled its content everywhere. Doesn't really make a difference now, does it? Fuses. Switches. Fuses. Plastic holders for something. Oh, and a remote control for uh, for one of these vehicles. Maybe later. Anti-static foam stuff. And a laptop bag. Just what I needed. Half of the stuff is landing on the floor now, but whatever. Hmm, I think this might be the first one that wasn't really worth the five bucks. Except for this thing maybe, that is kind of nice. Shrink tubing. I'll add it to my collection. Wait a second. My collection of heat shrink tubing is quite substantial already, but it always is nice to have enough of that stuff. got eight, eight of them overall, so I paid 40 bucks for everything. And there was another one, so there were nine in total, I think, and that one had a, a water boiler, one of those fancy glass water boilers, but I didn't have enough carrying capacity, like physically, I couldn't carry more of these bags. My car was like half an hour away or something. Metal cable ties. That's great. Metal cable ties and different small whoops, components. Ho 
holy urethane cable. Pretty short though. But no. Crimpable flat connectors. Adjustable ceiling light, I think. Or camera holder, something? No, it's a ceiling light, probably. Stopwatch. Ah, I've heard some beeping from my trunk on the way home. This is probably responsible for that. Stopwatch. Great. I think this is a... I think this is a timer because it says clock and set and stuff. I could use another power meter in this form factor. That would have been nice. This is probably a wood moisture measurement thingy. It takes four batteries. Maybe that powers up. Is that worth trying now? Oop, something's beeping. The stopwatch probably. Thick cable. Five pins. Five conductors. And another cable with three conductors and fabric stuff around it, isolation. Weaving, is that called weaving? No. IDE hard drive, IDE to this newer technology, I guess. And that's it. Stream quality. Yeah, I don't know. I'm doing that live from my smartphone, so I really have no con control over that. Should we power this up? I don't know. Might take a minute. Maybe later. I've been looking forward to this one because it has this very nice red cable in there. So we've got our oh, battery tester. I think that can go right into the trash bay. Right? Trash? Or keep? Or flea market? Cable marking things, probably. Yeah. These can be clipped on cables for marking purposes. Tiny traffic cones, I guess. Maybe that's an accessory for one of these remote controlled cars, they are quite frequent in these bags. No idea why. Oh, wait, the battery tester is showing something. <laughs> so glad this battery tester works out of all things. What would I have done without it? That's a weird connector. Car battery connection clips or nipple clamps for the brave ones. <clears throat> Am I allowed to say such, such, such things? Or are there minor? Miners here. 
Ah, more heat shrink tubing. Great, just what I needed. Uh, an extra long nut. Ridiculously large switch. Maybe for my next CNC machine. That's coming soon. Oh, a fancy clip on microphone. I can clip this on my, on my clothes here and maybe improve the audio quality a bit. AV cables. LEDs, and now comes the big one. That's a very nice cable in here. Wow, super flexible. Yeah, that's a keeper, I think. That's alone. That alone is worth five bucks, at least. Another huge switch. And small parts, small parts city in there. So we've got three more to go on here. And the pile's building up. Cable, very good. Tape. Good grief. Hmm. That's a very thick cable. Nice. Cable. Not assembled kits. Can we find out what they do? Ah, Entstörfilter. So they are like uh, mains filters. Somewhere I've got another small mains filter. Wait a second. found like a two kilogram mains filter somewhere but I didn't get it right now but instead I found the other party lamp that looks like this when it works Collecting the chat right now, sorry. Uh, silver capped red and blue things. Oh, that are those are lamps, I think. Yeah, incandescent lamps. No idea about the vo voltage. 12 volt, 5 watts. Um, I think we can power one up real quick. Exciting. 
Maybe we can blow it up real quick. It's resilient, but it's burning on my glove. So this is like a relay holder, I think. Is that correct? Oh yeah. More sticky Velcro things. Power resistors. Tape. Parts. What's, what's, what's this? Speaker maybe? Surface mount, two pin device with four holes. It's an Euclid SMD P16. Might as well be some sort of environmental sensor, maybe, no idea. Alrighty. So this one is mainly occupied by um, Light chain, uh, Lichterkette, light chain, chain lightning, no, chain lighting is, you know what I mean, right? Oh, but it's a good, but it's a good one. Seems like it. Let's plug it in. Yeah, nice. Oh, and it's dead, partially. Okay. More earplugs. Cable. Oh, this this is cool. Maybe the JPC soldering iron. Can fit in there. No, not really. Too bad. On the topic of JBC soldering iron, everyone's waiting on an update for that. And I, I'm sorry, I don't have any time at the moment. But it'll come. It'll come soon. And it'll have a very nice enclosure for this big ugly transformer. I already have the right screws and it'll have two halves. One half will be the transparent part of the of a GoPro Hero 4 packaging. It'll go on top, maybe a display inside. I think that'll be very nice. And another paint roller. Yay! So glad I got two paint rollers now. And some sort of smartphone bumper. Print transformer. Of course it needs it needs an X on there to say that it's clearly broken. I have no doubt about that at all. Hey Frage! Um, yeah, uh, so the question is how to get these back, uh, and I can't really say because I only ever visit Conrad, Conrad in Germany, uh, in Hanover, I mean. Can't really tell if those exist in Berlin too. Check it out, get some fresh air. So the last bag.
tape, screws. Enclosure with transparent plate and an X, of course. Something. <laughs> no idea what this is. Oh, it has more parts. It has like a ruler part with an adjustable rod. KWB Line Master. Maybe it's some sort of drawing, drawing aid. Or cutting aid maybe. Tape, tape. Oh, a big drill. Cool. I could. Yeah. Ah, it's a wooden drill. Should we make some chips with this? Side one, the wings. Yay, now we are adding wood chips to the big pile of stuff. That will only make it better, right? Maybe not hand held. Oops. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe slower. It kind of does what it's supposed to do, but it's pretty violent. I don't think I like this wood drill very much. Anyway, that's about it. Bag's empty. I paid 35 bucks for the first set and then I went back and got another another bag. So eight in total. And a pile of junk. Great. So, as a, in a conclusion kind of thing, the VH screwdriver was very nice. This professional audio cable was very nice. The battery tester is not very nice. Mm. Yeah. But it's a big pile of parts and I don't know. At some point it'll be in these or these or somewhere here for the cables maybe um, question from KAS I don't know if I can find that question maybe I should not put that there Um, I think the, the quality content I'm producing here is now over. This is just the aftermath now. So you can, you might as well do something worth doing now. Uh, yeah, um, the bags are appearing can't be predicted. I found them the first time like a year ago maybe and yeah I don't know how that works and they have like leftover stuff which I'm sure uh, ac accumulates 
in a big shop like that, then they'll just bundle it up and throw it out for cheap prices. All right, I think we'll end it now. See you next time. Bye-bye.